Hey guys, you're Martin Geek. In this video, I wanted to share with you all my Nintendo Switch library that I currently have on my case all the time when I'm out and about. And I will also want to talk about my accessories and also which Nintendo Switch is my favorite Nintendo Switch. You know, I want to do this video just in case you're new to the Nintendo Switch or you're thinking of getting a new Nintendo Switch and you're like undecided on which one should you buy. Because I keep getting questions. Should I get the original Nintendo Switch or should I get the Nintendo Switch Lite? So I'm just going to share with you guys my opinions about both of them and which one I prefer. But right now, I'm just going to show you guys everything that I have and right now on my nintendo switch the original nintendo switch this is the case that i use and i i am carrying around 10 games right here plus one game that's in the console all the time which is the game that i'm playing at the moment whatever game it is but i keep one there and i keep 10 games here i still have spots for four games more Plus, I got spots for other things. I already did a video for this. So, I, when I saw this, I was like, hmm, I might as well do a video of all the games that I carry all the time. Especially physical games. This is without counting the digital games, which I have a huge amount of digital games. So, let's talk about first the physical games that I'm carrying all the time in this case right now. So, I got the number one game, Animal Crossing. Uh, New Horizon, which is an awesome game, and I've been playing it every single day since the day it came out. Also, RBI Baseball 20. For those that are missing baseball, like right now, this is a good time to actually pick up this game, and it's really good. They did a great job this year by adding a couple new features like the pitching feature and the camera modes. Everything looks pretty good this year around, and for me right now, for the Nintendo Switch, this is the best baseball game you can get. Fighting. If you like fighting games, Mortal Kombat 11 is one of my favorite. Yes, I know that Super Smash Bros. is one of the best Nintendo Switch games on the Nintendo Switch. But I love Mortal Kombat 11. And if you know, if you've been following my channel, I've been uploading videos of all the DLCs. Most of the DLCs and a lot of videos for Mortal Kombat 11. So there you have it. The other game that I love is NBA 2K20. This is a game that I keep on my Nintendo Switch all the time. Because, you know, since I'm I'm missing the, the NBA because of the lockdown of COVID-19, um, this is a game that if you like NBA or sports, one of the best sports games on the Nintendo Switch, period. Um, RPG games. This is Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. This game, I actually picked it up late before I went to Puerto Rico. And I loved it. I played a whole bunch of this game. It's really, really, really cool. It has a very cool fighting combat. So if you're one of those that want to play a very awesome game that looks great on the Nintendo Switch and has a very cool, unique fighting system, this is a very cool game. Um, this Tokyo Mirage Session FE Encore. One of my favorite games so far this year as well. Right next to Animal Crossing on the Nintendo Switch. This game is just amazing. I'm about to finish it. I'm on the last boss and it's kicking my ass. But it is, I have over hundreds of hours played of this game. Really, really love it. So I truly recommend this game. Um, and of course, for all these games that you, I'm mentioning here, I have gameplay videos as well. So um, here, Assassin's Creed. If you're a huge fan of the Assassin's Creed franchise, in my opinion, this is the best uh, one that they have released so far. This has a Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, and it also has Assassin's Creed Rogue, and it's really, really good. They Both games run very smooth and nice on the Nintendo Switch, and there's a whole bunch of hours of gameplay. So if you want an open world game, that you're gonna spend your life in it this is a very cool game and it's pretty cheap right now um the other one i just picked it up the other day and i've been playing it non-stop vampire uh this game looks great on the nintendo switch especially in portable mode in my opinion it looks better than tv mode and it's really cool it's an open world game where you play as a doctor a vampire that can turned into a vampire you got to cure the city you got to solve the problems and all that it's really cool really cool uh, Saints Row 4 Re-Elected, another cool game, very, very funny. If you're one, one of those that want to play a game where you feel like a superhero in it, this is the game you need to buy right now on the Nintendo Switch. This game feels awesome. It runs great, in my opinion. And so far, very funny, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it, how it runs on a Nintendo Switch. Uh, Metro Redux, if you like first-person shooters, and you ever wanted to try this franchise 
Now is a good time to try it out on the Nintendo Switch. You got Metro 2033 Redux and you got Metro Last Light, which is the first and second game. And they both run really good on the Nintendo Switch and it's really, really, really good. Also, of course, I have to buy this one. And this is like one of the must buy games on the Nintendo Switch, if you ask me. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt um, uh, Complete Edition. It comes in this awesome package. I don't know if it's still going to be in this package I don't know, but I know when I bought it, it was in this package and includes a whole bunch of stickers and a whole bunch of stuff as well. And it's really, really cool. And with the latest update, they just issued an update like months ago. Uh, the graphics has improved and the gameplay has been improved and the story is great and the gameplay is beautiful. It has a very good open world game. Fighting combat is really good and the world is freaking unique it's really 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 good so there you have it those are all the games that right now i'm carrying on my nintendo switch all the time in this case right here now to answer the question which one do i prefer nintendo switch Lite or the nintendo switch original first of all the nintendo switch Lite. this is the sazing and zamazenta edition like you see here i really love this one uh, because of the color patterns has very cool contrast the, the zion zamazenta and all that it looks really really cool i really like it i had the gray one before but then i sold it and got this one because this is the one that i really really wanted um, but it's really cool the fact that you can play all these games which are console quality games on the go on this device that's freaking awesome and it only costs 200 dollars but i prefer the original nintendo switch because it's for me in my opinion it's the real nintendo switch and you're getting the full nintendo switch experience uh what i like about this is that one for example if i want to switch the joy cons or customize my nintendo switch it's very easy all i gotta do is take the, the joy cons out and go ahead and buy other joy cons and replace them so for example if the joy cons go bad or if you're having like very very bad drift problem with the sticks you could just go ahead and replace them very very easily sometimes you could get them very cheap online and that's the beauty thing about this now keep in mind this can also get uh drift as well these sticks right here they can also suffer from drift and the problem is that if they go bad guess what you lose the whole console you have to send the whole console in so they can fix the your nintendo switch and who knows how long that might take and now in this case all you have to do is replace the joy cons and that's it okay that's one thing the other thing that i really love about this is that i love playing in tv mode as well i love going home put it on my dock play on my desk on the big screen and play video games like that as well and share gameplay with you guys because one thing about this device is that it won't let you uh output video through the USB C. so you cannot hook up USB C to hdmi because you cannot this is not compatible with hdmi out you can't output video which for me that's the thing where they dropped the ball in my opinion if nintendo would have put output video through the USB C, this would have been a no-brainer this would have been my choice because i don't care about the, the dock i really don't care about the dock what i really do care is about the uh, video output but this sadly does not have video output this has video output so if you're a youtuber or you want to upload videos to youtube and you want to record video gameplay footage from your video from your nintendo switch you have to get the original one you can't buy that one you have to get the original one so yeah those are the things that i like the most out of of these two so yes i prefer the original nintendo switch because for me it's the real nintendo switch that's the main reason they named this the switch so you could switch from tv mode handheld mode desktop mode whatever you know so for me my number one console is this one but if you don't care for tv gameplay if you don't care for video output if you don't care if this goes bad and you have to send your console back if you don't care for that yeah go ahead and buy that one you could get it for 200 dollars or less right now it's, they're kind of hard to find but i prefer the original now when i'm playing in tv mode the control that i'm using is this one right here this is the controller that i'm using when i'm playing in tv mode uh, keep in mind i already did video for everything that i'm showing here in this video uh, this is a very cool 8-bit though 
SN30 Pro Plus controller. You can use this on Android, PC, and of course, Nintendo Switch. And it works freaking awesome. I just really, really love it, how it feels, uh, the controls, the thumbsticks, everything feels really, really nice. And it, f it actually feels like it was made by Nintendo. Look at this. It actually feels like it was made by Nintendo. Very responsive and really cheap as well. It goes for around $40, if I'm not mistaken. On the Nintendo Switch Lite, I, I don't usually carry it like this, you know, plain or, or naked, like however you want to call it. Uh, the case that I'm using the most on my Nintendo Switch is this right here from Skull & Co. Uh, I already did a video for this, and I gotta say, this is one of my favorite um, cases for the Nintendo Switch Lite. I already did a video for this. Oh my god, let's go and put this again. There you go. Slaps right in like that nope there's no game inside so this right here for me i love it and if you get if you ask me this is a must buy especially if you have bigger hands uh, because this uh, not only does it make it look nice and beautiful you know because it's nice and clear these things you can change them you could go ahead like this and change it for whatever kind of grip you want uh, but i this are these are the grips that i really really like the way they look like that and they come in different colors. So if you have the gray one, the design, the yellow one, or the blue console, you could get uh, these grips to look just like that. But this case, I always have it on my Nintendo Switch Lite. Always, always have it because it gives me better handling of the Nintendo Switch. And the case that I'm using for the Nintendo Switch is this one right here, which is very simple. It's kind of cheap, uh, but it's very 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 simple. I, I like it because especially it protects the Nintendo Switch What I don't like about this case is that you can't put um, video games in it There's a game card case, but I don't like putting games in those ga cases So I just carry the Nintendo Switch on this with the grip installed and it fits pretty damn good so guys that's it for this video i just want to share like i said just in case you're new to the nintendo switch and you're wondering which one should i get which one do i, do I prefer uh, all i have videos for all these games right now on my channel so if you want go browse through my channel subscribe i'll always keep uploading videos for whatever i can like i said before i don't really keep a huge library of games most of the times since i buy all these physical games i buy them for out uh, from my pocket so what i normally do is i sell some of the games then i buy some new games that's the way i do because these are not free these are games that i purchase out of my pocket every single game here that you see here i purchase out of my pocket and that's it so that's why i don't have a huge library of video games so guys that's it for this video let me know what you think about it and let me know what are the games that you carry all the time and which console do you prefer the original nintendo switch or the light nintendo switch thanks for watching this video till next time bye bye